Good morning, Sire community. Welcome to Wednesday morning. It snowed outside. It's treacherous. Uh, I snowblowed the driveway so we can get the boys to daycare. It's the first day August is going to daycare in a few. And so we're overjoyed. School is canceled here in northwest Minnesota. Um, but daycare is open, thank God. <laughs> Praise God for the little things. Um, so, yeah, it's Holy Week. We just got dumped on by snow. It's windy. It's supposed to blizzard conditions all day, which makes it really sad because we we're supposed to have our first ever Holy Week hot dish hoot nanny or cook off. If you prefer, I got the prize ready. I got the, the voting system ready. I got the... The excitement in my soul going to see what happens. We have crafts ready to go. And it decides to snow and blizzard. And who knows? Um, there's still there is still time to hope and pray that the weather holds off. However, up here when they say it's gonna be blizzard conditions, it's probably gonna be blizzard conditions. Because uh, it is light, fluffy snow, and any bit of breeze in the open country is going to drift. And and it just sounds like I'm really pessimistic, but I'm not. I swear I'm hopeful that it pans out and we can get together tonight. But if not, we will post. We will postpone it. We are not going to cancel it. Uh, it just gives us more time to get excited about it. Which is kind of the opposite of this week. You're not supposed to be excited about things this week. It is Holy Week. Uh, Monday, Thursday, we hear about the Passover meal, the Last Supper. Good Friday is the the execution. And then it's Sunday. So we're in the last moments of Jesus' life. The final, final approach to the... The cross, the last days of Lent. And so it is kind of strange to have, you know, a level of excitement, but I think it's okay because we are post resurrection folks. Uh, we know where the story is heading, but we don't know how it will affect us, which is, which is a strange thing to think about. Um, especially with stories. It's like, you know, the Jesus story. If you don't, you can hear it again this week and Easter Sunday and forever. But at the same time, we don't always know the impact it's going to have. Just because you know a thing doesn't mean it won't change you, which is the point of the Jesus story. It's supposed to change us on the inside. It's supposed to drive us into new unexplored territories so that we can love God and love our neighbors just a little bit better, just a little bit more. And it's the that reminder that Jesus died for you, but he didn't stay dead. That's That's the ticket. He didn't stay dead. He died and rose again for you. And that's supposed to elicit something in you. Hearing those words is supposed to change something. Well, the struggle is it doesn't always have that effect. You could go to church every day of the week and not be moved. Not be changed or swept up into the spirit or however you really want to think about it and for me that's where the struggle is that i don't always feel moved by the spirit i don't always feel you know empowered by the gospel it's like you know you see these other church movements and there's like big displays of spirit movement and all these things and then there's me kind of goes back to the the idea of comparative testimonies where it's your story is your story your response to the gospel is your response to the gospel 
And it doesn't change the promise. It doesn't change the fact that God is still with you, regardless if you feel it or not, regardless if you're you're moved by the Spirit to do some sort of missionary work or start a nonprofit or write a book or give your kid a hug this morning. It doesn't change the promise that is Easter. Easter is the big one. And so just a bit of encouragement for you this morning is don't despair in the lack of sensationalism in your life, I suppose. God is always present regardless. And it's not always a sensational kind of robust thing. It's sometimes just a sedate, just take some time kind of presence. And I hope you remember that moving forward. Um, yeah. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the snow, I guess. Thank you for the time to pause in this busy life and remember that your promises are good regardless of how we feel, regardless of what we think we experience. You're always with us, regardless of how robust or sensational the experience may or may not be. Be with us as we journey through the last days of Lent, knowing that it ends on a cross. The most brutal, just kind of inhumane means of torture and death. That's the end of this road. But we also thank you that the road doesn't end there. This part of our journey ends at the cross, but that is not the final say. It's not the final destination. It's just a stopping point. It's a rest stop on the long road to changing the world. So be with us as we journey through this day and the days that come. Remind us that you're always with us. Just give us a nudge every once in a while to keep us aware. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. And so, beloved children of God, remember you are blessed to be a blessing. You are blessed always, regardless of how you feel. And so you should be encouraged to always be a blessing as well. Until next time, hopefully tonight. But nonetheless, until next time, I will see you when I see you.